The holy month of Ramadan is on in Libya, reviving ancient traditions such as sweet making. The much sought after Zalabiya delicacies draw hungry crowds before the breaking of the fast. The rose scented and multicolored fried dough was once a regular sight in markets throughout Libya. However, today its popularity is seasonal as it's only served during Ramadan. In Misrata, only three shops serve the fried treat dipped in sugary syrup. We used to be able to buy fins and zalabia year-round in the shops, but now we can only get it in Ramadan and on special occasions. It's something we eat during celebrations, and the kids love it. There was a time when you couldn't find these sweets at all. Though now they are once again available, it's only during the month of Ramadan. We hope they'll make a comeback and become available year-round because they bring joy and they're delicious. The sweets are often colored in varying shades of pink and red and at times yellow. They can be in the shape of small golf balls or long tubes depending on where in the Arab world they're made. In Libya, the dough is pushed through a form of sieve and the resulting string-shaped dough is entangled to form a haphazard circular shape. It's then deep-fried and dipped in rose-scented sugary syrup for a crispy, juicy and chewy mouthful. But this particular sweet-making tradition is slowly becoming scarce. And with fewer people taking time to learn the secrets of the trade, other Arabic sweets, such as baklava, are taking its place. I have been making these sweets for seven years and we sell them mainly in the month of Ramadan. But there are few people left that possess the skill to make these sweets. One kilo of zalabiya goes for around four and a half dollars. This is much cheaper compared to baklava, an alternative dessert which goes for around $22 a kilo. However, to Libyans, it's not the cheaper price that matters, but rather the fact where it holds part of their heritage and their cultural tradition. Leslie Marungu, CCTV.